Hi, this is Merv Barrett from Real Estate Connected, the creator of Easy Property Listings. In this video, I want to show you how to use the template system inside the Easy Property Listings plugin to build your own custom templates. So what I have here is our training website, and we've currently just got Easy Property Listings running with one of our themes. Uh, we, we've got a child theme here for Builder Air by iThemes a fantastic theme framework. I highly recommend it for real estate websites. And here we have a, a theme with our default easy property listings template system. Uh, so this is what it looks like when you first install and activate easy property listings. And if we visit a single listing, you'll see that we've got the, the pricing details, the photo, um, the text, the video, and all the bits and pieces here with the gallery at the end followed by the map and the author box. So in this video, I want to show you how you can reconfigure this quite easily uh, using the templating system built into the plugin. Okay, so what we're going to do today is modify the templates, allow you to edit the templates inside your child theme so you can create your own custom views of the templates. So I've connected to my Mac and I'm on my Mac using Coda. You can use FileZilla on a PC and I've logged into my website. So as you can see, here's the root directory of the WordPress installation. So I'm just going to jump over to the WP content folder, log into plugins, and here's my easy property listings plugin installation. If you jump into that folder, followed by library and templates and content, you'll see that these are all the files that are used to generate the different pages and templates on your website. So I'm just going to create a new folder on my desktop called easy property listings. And we're going to copy some of these templates into this folder and then place those into your child theme. So I'm going to take the content listing single and we'll just take the content, uh, the loop listing blog default. So this is the default two templates for either this view, which is the loop view, or the single listing, which is this view. So if we make some changes, we'll be able to see our results. So I'm just going to copy these two files for now and onto my desktop into the easy property listings folder. So next you want to go back to the WP content folder, log into your themes, and in this case my active theme is called Builder Easy Living. And we're going to upload this folder into our currently active child theme. Once that's there, the plugin will start to load these template files instead of the default ones included in the plugin. So we'll just make a couple quick little changes. Hello world. And I'm going to save that and I'll do the same with the loop view and we'll be able to see that we've made a change to the template. So if I refresh this we should see hello world. There it is. And if we go back to the main loop view we'll also see hello world. So this allows you to modify the templates and add your own CSS classes depending on what you want to achieve out of your design. So in this instance, let's say we wanted to move the gallery to be underneath the, parent, the featured image. Currently on the default view, it's located down here underneath the features. So all you need to do is open up the content listing, listing single file. I'll zoom that in a bit. And we'll get rid of our hello world. And what we've done with the plugin is we're using a lot of hooks. Uh, or called actions in order to output the different content types inside your template. So if you, they're all quite well named um, and you'll be able to find that there's a gallery action. So there's our EPL property gallery. So if we take this line of code, I'm going to cut it out and if we look up here you'll see property, there's the title, we've got the pricing information here, as you can see property price, and there it is. There's the property featured image followed by the buttons. So let's insert the gallery there and save our changes. And if we refresh, we'll see the gallery will appear there. Now you can adjust the settings of the gallery, the number of columns, by visiting the dashboard, going to Easy Property Listings and Settings, and you can increase your gallery by the single listing view options. So let's make it seven across or, or seven across and let's go with a three column feature. And you can also, on the default installation it's disabled, so you can also enable it there. So I'm just going to scroll down and press save changes. 
So now when I visit my property, my single view, we should have smaller thumbnails. There we go. So that's how you can quickly and easily modify your templates. Again, you can add your own CSS classes if you want additional uh, specifications. You know, class. Gallery, and we'll just wrap that in the in a div. And if I save that, you'll see no changes. But now you'll have a a my gallery class that you can modify the gallery with. Most of our template output also include a lot of already pre-built classes. We've tried to define the classes as much as possible. Uh, so you can see here gallery icon. Uh, that's the default gallery. But we'll see EPL gallery entry. Uh, you've got the EPL gallery. Uh, and then there's my, my gallery custom CSS class. So if you wanted to modify that, you can just um, edit your CSS file. And we'll just pop in here. Background green. And, and you can make additional changes as you want. Padding. And go go for, for whatever you want to do. So again, all the template items inside the template file are included in the default template. So you can just chop and change, uh, move things around as you see fit, and create any design you want. Uh, we recommend, instead of deleting something, because you might want, need it in the future, is to just comment out the output. So for example, let's say we don't want a gallery appearing at all. I'm just going to put a couple slashes, which will disable that line in PHP. And if I refresh, we will no longer have a gallery. And there we go. So again, just move things around. You can even take whole sections uh, if you wanted this to appear separately, or if you wanted to have a you know a bigger address. Just your your design will indicate what you want to achieve. Um, and you know you can let's put the map up here instead of at the bottom. So we'll have the image, then we'll have the gallery. We'll pop a map in there, and. There you go. We've got a map. So we can adjust, just copy and paste. That's usually the easiest way. And then just adjust your CSS classes to suit your design. Now this applies, the same strategy applies on the loop templates. So we've got our hello world there so on, the, on the loop template. So if we go and edit the uh, this again, we can say, OK, well, we don't want the home open appearing underneath the image. Um, so you'll see here there's EPL property inspection time. So if we just take this whole section, and we'll put it in after the price. And if I save that, refresh, and there's the home opens being moved. Uh, again, it's just a matter of moving bits and pieces around. Now, perhaps you want some additional information to appear on this template. Um, let's say the feature list. Then we can just go back in here and look for our features. In this particular case, the features is the tab section. This is what controls the various fields and stuff so we can hook in additional stuff in the future. Um, so let's just put that in underneath the image and save. And we should have our features appear underneath there in the three columns because that's what's specified from the settings. Again, these are just containers. So let's say we wanted to, um, on the default container, you can see there's property box left. We've got pop property box right. And they're all contained within the main div class here. Uh, so if we wanted to actually have it outside of the two boxes so it formats a bit better, you can just do that. And then all your listings will have the property features. Now you'll need to make some CSS changes because this, as you're customizing things, for instance, this particular part might need a, a class or a clear so that it actually forces it to a new line. So we can just add a div. And we actually have a handy uh, class included in the plugin. If you go EPL dash clear fix and save, that will actually force that to be to clear the box. There we go. Um, so there's lots of handy little functions and, and, and template features you can use. Um, but that's how you can modify your templates. If you want to put the video in here, you can do the same thing. Um, again, this not all listings will have a video, uh, but this particular one may have. Just got to find the video hook. That might be the after, that's right. I think it's this one. Yeah, 
Okay, so the content after is actually where the video is coming from. So once you know what it is, let's copy this. Now I'm, I haven't taken the PHP, so we'll need to add that. Um, so let's say we want to put a video underneath the image. I'm just going to add the PHP. And oops, we should now have an Im a video on the listings that have a video. And there we go. Now you'd have to, again, just to wrap it in a class or adjust your CSS depending on what the view is. But listings with a video will appear there. Again, you can do the same with the gallery uh, and just chop and change bits and pieces as you, as you want to. Um, we've tried to make this as easy as possible because people like to have their own uh, look and feel for each of their their listings and this will allow you to, to create any sort of customized look that you want. Um, I'll just put the gallery in there instead of the home open and there's like a little gallery appeared underneath your images. Again you can install easy fancy box or a, another plugin that handles gallery pop-outs uh, which is all quite easy. Next um, I'd like to show you how to modify the image size. We've added a um, a couple of functions that allow you to modify that this action and the way it works is just by adding your size now you have to have that registered with WordPress um, which I won't cover in this video but let's just see our featured image and I know that uh, WordPress by default has like thumbnail um, medium and full uh, we've also registered a couple ones so let's just try a thumbnail now this will actually alter the image size on the single listing to be a thumbnail. And again, if you register a new one or you want a bigger one, just full will actually give you the, the maximum size you have defined in your settings. And it will output that, that's the full size, but let's try medium. Oops, if I spell that right. There's the medium size. And again, you can adjust your image sizes from the default WordPress image sizes. Now there's actually an additional operator that allows you to set a class. So my uh, property medium. And if we do this, we'll now have a, a new class defined around that image. So I'm just gonna inspect the image and you'll see that uh, my property medium class is now inserted into the image, which allows you to, again to adjust design, uh, make circles, uh, and, and really create anything you want to. Um, now, when the templates, we've only copied across two, so let's just see if we can modify a couple other ones, because our short codes also use different templates. Um, so if we jump back over to the plugins folder, easy property listings, the library, templates, and content, it's a bit of a, a snake, but you can figure it out. Once you do this once or twice, you'll be, um, you'll be set to go. So we've got card, we've got default, we've got slim, we've got table, and table open. So let's just take the table, I'll copy it over there, and place that also inside the theme. Oh, so I go back to my themes folder, and easy living, and again, the folder that you all you need to do is add easy property listings inside your active child theme or theme folder and if you drag that file that I've just copied the table again we can now customize the look of the table I'll just put hello and if we go to short codes I've got a I think this is might be table open Ah, there it is so hello so that allows you to again to customize the different items that you want to have on there and again just take the easy the main content listing single view which will have all the different hooks that you have available to you and if we wanted to put the feature list for example inside our table we can just find our features and pop that into our let's put it in after the address, address, I'll try and put it in there again and see how that looks. There, so the, it may not display as easily as possible, but you might be able to just make some adjustments depending on what you want to achieve with your design. Let's just pop it in here after the content, and it might just come out after each listing. There we go. So now you can have a table with additional information uh, presented with your listings, and 
that's how easy it is to use the template loading system. The last part I want to show you is, which we often get asked, is the main loop template. Now again, inside Easy Property Listings, we'll find the loop templates, which are single archive uh, or single dash listing and archive dash listing. So if we jump back over to the plugins folder, Easy Property Listings, Library and Templates. Now in this particular case, you, it will depend on what theme you're using. For Builder, we have it already built in. So if we jump into the Templates folder, instead of going to the content, we'll go to Themes and we've got our different Templates. So we've got Genesis, Human, Default, and iThemes Builder. So if we take these two files, Archive Listing and Single Listing, we'll copy them back over there. Again, it works the same way. So back to our Themes folder, Easy Property Listings, and we'll place our Archive and Single Listing. These files will actually work in the, in the main folder, but they also work within the Easy Property Listing subfolder inside your theme. So I'm going to edit this, and I'm going to just, again, hello, And if we refresh, we should now see a hello appear before the loop. And this is where you can configure what you wanted to say, uh, or if you want to have a, another shortcode, or you, perhaps your theme doesn't allow you to insert um, content uh, as easily as the builder theme framework. So we can say uh, do echo do shortcode. Echo do shortcode, close the PHP, and we'll add in the shortcode in this particular case is uh, listing search. And we'll just put the basic listing search in there. And you'll get the default display, which is in this particular theme is not completed yet. So we've got some uh, display issues here, which is just a minor CSS tweak. But with the template, with the listing search, you can also go template. Can't remember. Um, visit the site and go to documentation, and you'll be able to find out the, the specific code to use. So there's our listing search. And in this particular case, it's quite a complicated uh, or complex and detailed search short code. But here you go. So style default, that's the default display. So if we, in our command, if we go style, we have a few different options. Let's try wide and save that. And if we refresh, we'll now modify the search to be that way. And now let's say you wanted to add the properties and rentals. If we go property, oop, post, property. And if we separate with rental, this will now give us the tabbed view. So you got buy and rent. And again, if you go to the dashboard, easy property listing settings you'll be able to find uh, customize your labels from within the dashboard. Um, so if we scroll down to the search widget tabs, search for sale, search rentals, and we'll save the changes, and oops, visit the site and property. And there we go, search sale, search rentals. And this will apply because I've edited the archive, so the default view will apply to all your different short codes. So let's say, well, we want to add land. So all I have to do is add a comma and land. And save that. And we'll have a new tab, which is the land tab. So it depends on what listings you have on your website. There we go, so we've got land. And that's how you use the template system within Easy Property Listings. I hope to you. Please do submit your awesome websites to our showcase. We keep trying to add them as people create websites or we create them. And um, let us know how you go with the template system. And thanks for watching.